The star lapse is one of my favorite videos to make. I think I've just always, I always look up when it's dark. I love to see stars. I don't know what it is about it. I, I mean, that is part of who we are, I guess. All of that out there. So why not be fascinated by it? Well, that's a, <laughs> that's a much more philosophical question than making a star lapse. How I make a star lapse, I use a GoPro 4 uh, Silver. This is not the 4K one. Let me keep it in focus. This is the uh, just the 1080p one now. I found the settings for this are pretty easy. Um, for me, I just do, I put it on night lapse mode. I give it a shutter of 10 seconds. It's a continuous interval, 12 megapixels wide. I turn Pro Tune on and I do native white balance with a flat color. My ISO limit is 400 because I, I can't put it somewhere really dark. I don't have that. So I just, uh, where I put the, where I put it, there's a lot of light pollution. So I put it in like a shady corner and 400 is actually still sort of high for the area because I end up lowering it in Lightroom. But 400 seems to be okay. I can get pretty good uh, uh, clarity, which with sharpness low because I do the sharpness in Lightroom. Uh, and then uh, no EV compensation. Compensation. Ooh, that's something easy. So those are my settings. I just set it up. I do it same way like a time lapse. So I set up just pointing straight up on a tripod with a battery attached. The, the big trick of all of this is your weather app. Keep an eye on the weather. Make sure that it's not going to be foggy too, or not going to be foggy because that moisture, unless you cover your camera. There have been times where I thought about putting it out, but it, the weather seemed a bit iffy, so I just didn't do it. What you could do is put like a plastic bag or like a Ziploc bag and cut a hole in it and just put it in this like seated over, just, just expose the lens or put it in a, uh, you can put it in a waterproof case, but then you won't have, you won't be able to put the battery on because you need, you need it to run a good time lapse for me would run for around nine hours, anywhere between nine and 10 hours. Cause you want to have an output of about 2,500 images, maybe even more, the, the more, the better. So the longer the lapse. And once you get the stars and everything dialed in also, you Ideally, you'd want to do it around a new moon, but, you know, timing and weather dictate a lot of this, which is also a, a fun thing about it because it is challenging. There have been many times where I had the opportunity to do the star labs, but the weather just didn't cooperate. It was raining. It was foggy. It was just going to be cloudy for a couple days. You know, it's, it's right now when I'm shooting this, it's, it's winter when winter's basically over, but you have to take those factors in too because you do one in the summer then you only have a shorter you have a shorter time to uh, to get it because the sun comes up early and goes let goes down late you know that's just the way the earth works so you do have those factors going against you too but as long as you keep keep an eye on the weather keep an eye on the moon cycle uh the the more the darker the place the better of course but that's that's how i do a star lapse